A password recovery requires two things. You need to be able to power cycle the device. I'm gonna be using an APC to do this so that I can power cycle the device remotely. I'm also connected to the console of this router via a terminal server. So I'm telnetting to a server and then accessing the console of this router through the terminal server. In the real world, you may have to physically walk to the router and plug your laptop into the console and then power cycle the device. Or if you've got access to an APC and a terminal server that's giving you out of band console access to the device, you can do what I'm doing here. The process is the same. The APC and terminal server only give me the ability to access the console and power cycle the device remotely. I'm connected to the console of this router and I'm told that I need to press return to get started. So I'm in user mode. I can type show version and we can see that this is a Cisco 1841 router. We can see that the configuration register is set to 2102. That is the default of value, which means that the router will boot normally and has a console speed of 9,600 bits per second. Startup config will be used, and we can change the config register if necessary as follows. However, when I type enable, let's assume that I don't know what the password is. So I'm unable to access privilege mode on this router. Let's assume that the secret password was set and we don't know what that password is anymore. So what we can do is power cycle the router. So I'm gonna set the APC to do an immediate reboot on the router. And what we'll notice on the router is it's rebooting. I'm gonna send a special command, which is the break to the router. And notice I am now in ROMMON mode. So through the APC, I remotely rebooted the router rather than physically doing it. Router has rebooted and I sent a break signal to the router. So you could use your keyboard or your terminal emulation program to send uh, the break. In this case, I'm using PuTTY and I just sent the break command to the router, which meant that it broke the boot process and went into ROMMON mode. Question mark shows me options in ROMMON. You'll notice that this is different to the traditional Cisco IOS. This is the command that we're looking for, configuration register utility. So we're gonna set that to confreg0x142. The password procedure I'm using is a little bit different to the 2900 password procedure, but notice the same command is used. The Cisco website will give you the details for individual routers. So as an example for an 1841 router, the full procedure is shown here. Just follow the procedure for the relevant device that you wanna do a password recovery on. That includes both routers and switches. So in a document like this, we have high-end routers, LAN switches, and other devices. So confridge is set. We're told that we need to reset or power cycle the device. Command to do that is gonna be reset. And what will happen now is the router will boot normally, but it will bypass the startup configuration because when setting this value to four, but six is set, which means ignore NVRAM contents. So to save you some time, I'm gonna speed up the boot process. What will happen is when the router boots up, it will bypass the startup configuration and ask us whether we wanna enter the initial startup dialog. And notice now that the router is prompting us with the system configuration dialog. We don't wanna enter that, so I'm gonna say no. We're told to press return to get started. And notice the name of the router is router whereas previously it was called C1841R1. So here's the critical piece, enable. 
I can move to enable mode without a password. Show startup config shows that there is an enable secret password configured in the startup config. And we can see the host name of the router as an example. We can see other information such as IP addresses on serial interfaces. We can see that OSPF was configured as part of the startup config. In the running config, however, we don't have the host name configured. We don't have a secret password. We don't have IP addresses on our serial interfaces and we don't have OSPF configured. So to get the config back, I'm gonna type copy startup config, running config. Notice the router name has now changed. Show run shows us the IP addresses and OSPF configuration in running config. Now OSPF was complaining that it couldn't allocate a unique router ID and that's because all interfaces on the router are shut down. So I'm gonna go into serial zero slash zero slash zero and no shut the interface and do that on the other serial interface. And notice now OSPF is able to allocate a router ID and then form a neighbor relationship with a neighboring router. So as an example, show IP OSPF neighbor shows us that the neighbor relationship has formed. Now it's important to remember that we are now in privilege mode or enable mode, but we don't know the password. Show run shows us that the secret password is configured, but we don't actually know what that password is. We moved from user mode to privilege mode without entering a password, and then we copied the startup config to running config. If we exit privilege mode now, we won't be able to get back in. So what we need to do is change the password. So change the secret password to something that we know. So it's really important that when you do the password recovery, that you go to privilege mode or enable mode first, and then copy the config from startup config to running config, and then change the password, and then save your config. So it's really important that you set the password and that you then save the configuration before continuing. Now I'll show version shows us that the configuration register is still 2142. The configuration register configuration is separate to the running and startup config of a router. So what I'm gonna do is save the config right now. So copy running config, startup config, or write mem. At the moment, the config register is 0x2142. If I rebooted the router now, it would end up booting without using the startup config again. Now we don't wanna do that. We wanna use the config register command and set it for normal boot. So set it to 2102. Show version. Notice it will be this at next reload. I can reload the router without saving the configuration and it will reboot using the previously saved config. If you remember, before I made the change, I saved the config. So that's the configuration that's gonna be used. I don't need to save the configuration again for the configuration register change to be saved. It's saved independently of the running configuration on the router. So I'll speed up the boot process again so notice that we told to press enter to get started and interfaces come up and the OSPF neighbor relationship is formed. And that's because the startup config was applied when the router booted up. Now when we type enable, we can log in with the password that we configured. In other words, the reset secret password. We can't see that in the output here because it's hashed, but this is the password of Cisco that we configured the router to use. So that's an example of how to do password recovery.
Don't forget that on Cisco's website, there are password recovery procedures for various routers that you may be using in your lab or that you may be using in the real world. Simply follow the step-by-step procedures to bypass an encrypted password. This does require physical access. In other words, you need access to the console to be able to do a password recovery.